Another new feature to Siri Shortcuts with version 2.1 is the ability to have clock actions, and you can find those under the Calendar tab here under Content Types. And you'll see there are three actions. You can create an alarm, start a timer, or toggle an alarm. So let's go ahead and create an alarm. But let's say that you're uh, the type of person that uses alarms to kind of manage your day. You know, you set off an alarm to wake up in the morning. Maybe you set up an alarm to go to lunch, and then you set up an alarm to head home for the day. Uh, so we can give each one the name. All right, so we've given each one a name. Then you can go ahead and set some times for them. And uh, we've got a shortcut here. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And an icon. Anyway, so we've got the Siri shortcut created. I'll go ahead and click done. If I press the button for daily alarms, I just set three alarms. I'll go over to my alarm window now. And you can see there's three set here on my iPad. I actually think the timer action can be even more fun for a Siri shortcut. Uh, so let's go ahead and create our own Pomodoro timer. And if you don't know what Pomodoro timers are, it's a productivity tool where you say you're going to focus for a certain amount of time and then uh, take a break. So we can make one uh, with Siri shortcuts. First, we'll start the timer. I usually do my Pomodoros for 45 minutes. We could also write this where you it asks the user how many minutes they want, but I'm just going to say 45 minutes. So we've started a timer. And then we're going to set a few things up here, like do not disturb. And then we want the do not disturb to end after 45 minutes, but there's no way to do that from this dialogue. Instead, you've got to do a quick calculation. So we're going to get the current time. And then we're going to add to that. We're going to adjust it by 45 minutes. And just to be clear, we're going to set a variable there. You don't have to. You could use magic variables, but let's keep it simple. And we'll call that end time. All right, so we're going to start a timer for 45 minutes, and we're going to have do not disturb run until end time, which is the 45-minute calculation. And then click done. And uh, I didn't give it a name, so let me go ahead and do that. And again, I really wish I could search these. Click Done. And then if we run this, you see it'll grab the date, start a timer, and then if you look up in the corner, my iPad, you see it's on Do Not Disturb. That'll last for 45 minutes. If I go down to my clock tools and I look at my timer, you'll see that there we have a 45 minute timer counting down. So I can get to work and have my Do Not Disturb turned on and just get work done for 45 minutes. You can download both of these series shortcuts below this video in the course.